Hi, my name is Thomas Street Smart Rentals. Today we are going to be setting up a security camera trailer. For safety reasons, during transit, we include a bolt on the mast of the solar panels and on the battery box. Here are the tools that you'll need to remove them when on site. Typically the bolts used on the mast and the battery box are either a half inch or a 916 socket and wrench. Before we start, the first thing we're gonna do is lower all four jacks on the trailer and level out the trailer. There's a pin here that you can pull out, lower the jack, and crank it up. First thing we're gonna need to do is grab our T30 security bit that we're gonna need for mounting the, the camera head. And then in this box here is our camera head our itself. The next thing that we're gonna do here is take the camera out of the, bat the box. And we're gonna wanna save this box here and put it back in the battery box for when your rental is over. We can store the camera head back in it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is take this rubber grommet out if there is one. And then there is a small screw hole here that you can use your T30 to remove the top lid of the camera mount. Be able to push the camera up through the mount, give it a short twist, and it'll lock it in. And then we have three screws on top to tighten down the camera. Next, we're gonna take our ethernet cable and plug it directly into the back of the camera head. After about 30 seconds, you'll see the camera do a spin of life. That's how you know it's getting power. Once the camera does its spin, you can put the top cover back on. Tighten it back down and put the rubber grommet back in the top of the screw hole. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is pull the e extra ethernet cable out of the battery box so that there's enough slack when we crank up the mast. So you can pull it from the outside and just kind of guide the cable through. And then next we're gonna crank up the mast. You'll know it's all the way up because it'll stop. You won't be able to rotate this anymore. We're just gonna pull the extra unnecessary slack back into the battery box so it's not hanging out. So the last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna find south. I have a compass app on my phone. You can see that way is south. So we're gonna rotate the solar panels. There's a pin here that you can pull down and then the mass will rotate freely. To get the optimal performance with our solar units, you're gonna to wanna to have them facing fully south with no obstructions from trees or any sort of building that's going to cast a shadow on the solar panels. In the winter, you're gonna to wanna to keep snow off the solar panels. The best way to do this is to use a bristle end of a broom to clear them off.